Welcome back, everyone, to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This is episode three of our playthrough as Germany, beginning in 1890, building only battleships to see how that works out. It's been a mixed bag so far as far as how that works, but I think as technology moves along and we gain advantages in technology, having all battleships is going to work out pretty nicely for us in the decades to come. We are still at war with Russia. I would like to take a little more territory before we uh, resolve this war. I, I don't know how much I'll be able to do that, but we do have an invasion of Ukraine happening right now, uh, and we already have taken their southern Finland ports, and we are now in the middle of an invasion trying to take uh, another port here. Uh, so we're sending battleships into that region to deal with that. The Russians have 28 battleships, 13 heavy cruisers, 15 light cruisers, 16 torpedo boats. But I think at least some of those are down on the Black Sea and in the Mediterranean and therefore not really much of a threat to us at the moment. So let's go ahead and move along and see what happens. We do have a convoy mission available to us here. One battleship versus three heavy cruisers and a light cruiser. Um, and we're protecting transports in this case. These heavy cruisers are pretty small, and so the tonnage is actually pretty sim uh, similar. Uh, we'll see how the Braunschweig, uh, Braunschweig is able to do in this situation. Uh, two 10-inch guns, four, five, in eight, five inches altogether. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, we can expect that he is going to make a run at us here because we do have these transports, and we just have the one battleship we do have some new battleships on the way. We're building 20 right now. Uh, he is somewhere in the northwest, which means he's actually on the transport side of things here. So we're going to need to get out on the other side of these transports while they move away from the enemy. And hopefully we can fight these guys off. We want to try and stay at a distance. Okay, we spotted them, and our very first shot actually landed a hit. So that's a good start. AI controls all the transport, so there's really nothing I can do about them. We're going to try to stay at a distance. Let our guns take care of business here. We don't have a huge amount of shells, so it's not like we can just shoot this out forever. He's definitely going to have the advantage on us there just because of the number of ships he has. I'm going to have to drop my speed in order to get a better... Ooh, nice hit. So far, so good. Want to try and get the best possible percentage here. Accuracy is actually pretty darn good. 25% right now. And, and rising as our speed drops. Looks like we've already got some fires going. We do need to be careful kind of showing our broadside to him here, but really kind of have no choice at the moment. There's another big hit on the second one. What kind of guns does this guy have? He's got 6.3 inch guns. We're going to get our secondaries firing on that smaller ship in the back. Can't wait until I can get longer torpedo range than 0.9 kilometers. That'll be a nice technological breakthrough when it happens. Ooh, nice hits. Causing some nice flooding on the Neptune. So far, we're holding up pretty good. They're going to start swinging around here. So far, we haven't really done any kind of critical damage to any of these ships. So it occurred to me that I'm really forgetting that my primary mission here has to be to protect these transports. So as I'm engaging these ships, I'm forgetting that they're probably going to go after those guys. So I've got to speed up, try to catch up to them, get get on top of the lead ship and slow him down and make sure that they keep their fire on me and not on these transports, which they appear to be doing so far. 
So we've actually caused some really good damage on the uh, Ivan Garod. He's got a significant amount of flooding right now, and he's got some steering damage, so that's going to help. I really should be firing on the Neptune, and I think we can probably go ahead and do that for now. While this guy's slowing down, he's still... It looks like he can't stay on top of the flooding. If this flooding continues, we might have him sunk already. We'll just see it. Yep, there it goes to another compartment. The flooding is just... He's done. All right, lead ship's down. So far, so good. Not a lot of damage happening for me. Now we're starting to cause some flooding on the Neptune. Let's see if that spreads. These ships might have pretty poor flood controls on them if we can just see that flooding spread. So far, so good. I'm going to keep my full speed on, though, until I can maybe catch up to these guys. What's the speed on this thing? Oh, big hits. Big hits. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Goes 20 knots, so he's a little faster than I am. But we're in good shape. I think really, unless I'm facing a bunch of torpedo ships that can get in close on me, these heavy cruisers aren't going to be much of an issue. His battleships and his small, fast torpedo boats are the only thing I'm going to have to worry about in these battles. Heavy cruisers, I don't think, are much of a threat. Oh, no! I spoke way too freaking soon. So what happened there? It was a 6.3 inch shell over pen on the four belt, 223 damage, and it took out my lead. Oh man, I really just need to stop speaking so confidently. Dang, that hurt. All right, we need to take this guy out. I don't have my lead gun anymore, or do I? Nah, it's gone. Look at the damage. Wow. Look at that damage on the front of my ship. Good night. Their damage models have improved a lot since this game first came out. Okay, we just landed a torpedo detonation. Blew up one of his torpedoes, and I think that's going to cause, yep, sufficient flooding to sink him. That leaves only the smaller ships now and I don't think we're going to worry too much about that. We're going to go back and uh, oh maybe they are going to pursue me. Alright let's turn and face these guys. Okay the battle has ended. We were not able to track down that light cruiser but uh, we did take some significant damage to the Braunschweig in the end but we'll take it because we took out uh, three heavy cruisers from his fleet. We'll put uh, Braunschweig in for repairs and we should be okay. Uh, 3,300 victory points, 549 crew losses for him, 67 for us. More importantly, all transports protected. The Red Ca Cross urges Russian Empire and our nation to accept the exchange of prisoners. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. I'm not sure why that will cost $37 million to do that. Um, the government is wise enough to decide what is best. I'm going to do that because I like the naval prestige, and we have over a billion dollars, so we can afford the $75 million in naval funds. Here we go. Uh, so this time we're going to have four battleships, three different types of battleships. Uh, we've got our Bismarck class here with the Schwaben, uh, Kaiser Wilhelm the Great class, uh, and a Schleswig-Holstein class from 1891. Uh, so a nice mix of things. And we're taking on two of his battleships. So this is going to be another real good opportunity for us to reduce his fleet. Okay, we have made contact. Three of my four battleships have 10-inch guns. You can see here the Posen um, has dual 10-inch turrets. One on the front, one on the back. Uh, the Heimdall has single 10-inch on the front and back. Bayern has dual or no single 12 inch 
and then the Schwaben dual 12 inch or dual 10 inch so a nice little mix of everything we're gonna head straight at them here and then we'll start turning when we get a little closer we'll go ahead and slow down so we can improve our accuracy hopefully we can start making some hits we've only got two to deal with here so we definitely have the advantage last thing we want to do though is lose one of our battleships he's got 12 inch guns at least on the lead ship 11.7 I need to get as many guns on the enemy as I can though almost in torpedo range but not quite man He's blocking our 10-inch shells. Must have some nice armor on the uh, Emperor Alexander. Emperor Alexander II. Might be able to get a torpedo in the water on this guy here. He's just pretty close to range, but it doesn't look like they're going to fire. Oh, but he is going to fire one at me. Okay. Um, we do have our torpedo av avoidance on already. I don't think, I don't know if he'll do that automatically. We desperately need to swing this thing around. It's going to be close, but I think we're going to avoid it. Yeah, we're good. Ah, oh, and then we landed a nice hit. It's going to take more than that to take him down, though. Beautiful. Damage to steering. We've got some significant flooding happening. That might be enough to sink them. Yeah, we're going to switch our guns onto the other guy because I think he's toast. He's flooded. Boom. There's one down. They're all on torpedo avoidance right now, so they're all kind of turning funny. I think we're good, though. guy's going down fast. Posen's the only one really taking any significant damage right now. He's got rudder damage. Partial penetration on that last hit. He is blocking a lot of them. He's got some decent armor on this thing. You just got to be careful he doesn't hit us with a torpedo. It's like sharks circling their target. I love it. We destroyed one of his main guns, and boom, he's gone. Major explosions. Wow. That was beautiful. 6,500 victory points. 1,200 crew lost. We've really done a number on the Russians in this particular turn. The Russians have initiated a major offensive from Belarus against Poland. Bring it on, Russia. Things are not going well for you at sea. Maybe you'll have better luck at land. I probably should have gone for these territories here instead of aiming for these ones up here. And I don't know that we'll have an opportunity to take all of these seaports before the war ends. There is another available option here. One battleship against a battleship and a light cruiser. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so in this case, uh, the battleship that we had to engage here was the Kaiser Wilhelm II, which has already taken some severe damage. Uh, so it shows us a defeat, but I was really quite content to try and disengage from that battle, so I never actually encountered the enemy. We need to get the Kaiser Wilhelm II in for repairs before we try to engage with them again. There's the Spanish-American War. It has erupted a few years ahead of time. Uh, we just doubled our torpedo range, which is something I've been desperately hoping for. Three-cylinder pneumatic motor. That's awesome. Very excited about that. Bulgaria canceled their alliance with the Russian Empire. German Empire failed to gain control of central Russia, so that didn't happen, unfortunately, in our little attack there. But now 
Uh, we are still going after Ukraine. We've got a couple of task force missions available to us that are going to get pretty interesting because it's a, a chance again to take out some of his battleships. Uh, we did not, however, gain that invasion. So I do want to go after a different spot for invasion. I'm thinking right here is where we want to go with this. Um, he's got 26 battleships, 10 heavy cruisers now. We've got 19 battleships under construction, only 22 in the fleet right now active, and three more that are being repaired. How far away are we from these new ones arriving? Looks like 12, 13 months away from... Oh, we got three months on one, two, three, four, five new ones. So we want to select the ports for... That's the Odin class. Those are going to be 10-inch guns, 8-inch guns, and... Uh, yeah, they're a little cheaper than the other ones, but they're newer technology, so we'll see. All right, uh, three battleships versus two battleships. Always like those odds. Anytime we can take out some of his battleships, although these guys are far because we have an option for 30 speed, which means they're pretty far away. Going to take a while to uh, engage here. So we caught up to him a while ago, but uh, that's actually the first hit that either side has made right there. So I'm going to go ahead and slow down now. We're going to start trying to actually engage this guy. He's got 11.7 inch guns, so he could definitely wreck me pretty good here. Oh, there's the Alexander the Third. That's uh, These are some tough battleships, so we're going to have to be a little bit cautious here. You can see that that one hit he landed already did some serious flooding damage to the Schwaben. We're having a little trouble penetrating him, too. So these are well-armed and well-armored battleships, though we just got a nice penetration hit there by a 5-inch shell that did some pretty significant damage. Schwaben's taking some steering damage. Need a little bit more penetration on his lower decks and we might be able to sink him. That one ricocheted, but then we had another one that penetrated. Looks like we do have some more flooding on him. Ooh, that was some big 11 inch hits. But I think we might have done the flooding damage we need to to sink this guy. Yeah, he's toast. The one thing these Russian battleships don't seem to have is good flood protection. So a couple of good hits below the belt and they're toast. But they have some nice guns and they are putting some significant damage on the Schwaben. Who's heading straight at Alexander the Second right now? Because he's moving into position at the end of the battle line. There we go. We got him. Beautiful. Those five-inch shells were doing some nice damage. Can't understate the importance of the secondary guns. There's another 1,200 Russian sailors taken out. Two battleships. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. I'm not sure how it is that I ended up with just two ships taking on basically half the Russian fleet, but we're going to try to withdraw from that one. That's a failure. Uh, I don't want to take this on, but if I auto-resolve, I'm probably going to lose them both. Uh, let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, we lost the Bayern and heavy damage on the Heimdall. Didn't sink. Any, oh, we did sink a torpedo boat, but not much else. So that didn't go well there. We do have bracketing salvo as new tech for our control stations, which is huge. It's going to help a lot with accuracy. Um, a new sea passage, the uh, Kiel Canal, 
It's trespassable. It says Russia or Sweden canceled their alliance with the Russians. All right, so Kiel is now available there. Not a huge deal, really. Um, Russians are launching two separate land offensives at the moment, though. I really would like to get a naval invasion going here in, uh, what is this? This is Lithuania. So let's go to politics. Oh, we already have a naval invasion that we're working on. What's this task force mission? Two battleships versus two battleships. All right. We've got four that are under repair right now. We've got a nice amount of money. We're still working on our shipyard size expansion. We're building way too many ships at the moment. Our naval prestige is fantastic at 70, which is admired. Uh, unrest is good. And lots of money out there. Okay, we've spotted the enemy. Neither side has landed any damage so far. I did get a hit that started a fire. Once we get a little closer, we'll drop our speed to improve accuracy. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Oh, nice hit to start out on the Azov. He's got 11.7, so these are those big guns that have caused us trouble before. Ooh, nice hit. Good penetration. We're already doing some good damage. 83%. Well, it was 83% accuracy. It just dropped. Because he landed some nice 11 inch hits, 11.7 inch hits on me. Alright, let's get a torpedo in the water on this guy. Oh, taking some big hits. Bismarck's definitely getting hit. I want to be careful here because he's probably going to drop a torpedo on me too. In fact, I'm going to start turning now. Oh, because of the damage they're dropping in the formation. Oh, Bismarck's going to get hit by that one. Where's our torpedo? There's the hit. Yeah, Bismarck's in trouble. Not liking this at all. A lot of flooding happening now. Alright, Carl De Grossa. Come on, sink this guy. I was going to say, get some torpedoes in the water too. Is gonna make that tough though. Oh boy. I think a torpedo is gonna miss. Maybe. No, it, it is gonna hit. Oh, beautiful. Azov's toast. Bye bye. Alright, Bismarck. Let's go ahead and detach you get you out of here. Run away, please. I'll let the Kaiser Carl de Grossa take care of this one. Is that Charlemagne? Is that who that's named after? I guess it would be. Charles the Great. That hurt. We haven't landed any hits on this guy yet with our 10 inch guns. Not from this ship. Oh, come on, boys. Now we gotta close the range so I can get some torpedoes on him. Man. Fire is everywhere. There, we got a couple of hits. Didn't do much, though.
Ух. There we go. Oh, torpedo detonation. We just lost our torpedoes. All right, there's no need to get closer then. Actually, we are going to swing around here to avoid his torpedo, though. There we go. Come on. Let's get that flooding going. Sink this guy. Don't like being this close. It's too easy to cause a huge explosion on a ship when you're this close firing. He's got a lot of flooding going on, though. I don't think he can hit me with his big guns. Nice. Oh, there it is. That's exactly what I was hoping for was a flash fire. Beautiful. Two more Russian battleships down. We, we are just hammering his battleship fleet right now. He's causing some damage on ours, but nothing major. So let's take a look and see where he's at on battleships now, because I'm sure he's getting new ones in. We're about to double our battleship fleet just as soon as we can get them into service. That's the problem. We don't have the capacity to be able to get all of them built at the same time. But uh, he's down to 21 battleships now. We've got 24. Seven that need repairs, though. Just 17 active. But things are looking good at the moment. People of Ukraine, take arms and try to gain control of Ukraine that is currently occupied by the Russian Empire. Venezuela can cancels their alliance with Russia. Uh, and now we see the special army operations happening. So interesting to see what's happening there as we are in the process of moving into that region uh, with our forces. There's no oil production there, so maybe we shouldn't have gone for that. But um, so far, so good. Everywhere else. We got another task force operation here, but I think I might go ahead and auto resolve and see how that works out. Uh, medium damage to his ship, nothing for ours, so that worked out okay. Let's look at research for a second, see where we're at. We're not putting any special focus on any research at the moment, but we are about to get some more small gun technology. Let's go ahead and increase the speed on that same with gun layout and uh, I want to take a look once again at the fleet and see where we're at we're still f 25 months away from some of these ships being done one month away from five more joining the fleet again we're limited by our capacity which is why some of these ships that I queued up a while ago are taking so long I probably was better off not to do that because by the time those ships even get completed, the uh, technology is going to be obsolete. Um, all right, let's go ahead and do a peace treaty and see what happens. Colombia signs a trade agreement with the U.S. German Empire pushed back the Russian Empire's offensive in Poland. Russians lost another 235,000 to our 23,000. Palestine takes up arms against the Ottomans. The war continues at the moment, though. Okay, peace treaty signed. Uh, the war is over. German Empire and Russian Empire negotiate for peace. It lasted for 19 months. Uh, what stalemate should pay? What does that mean exactly? Um, looks like we can demand $184 million in Russian value, whatever that means. I think I'd rather have territory than any of his ships. We can always build our own ships. Um, I wish I could go back and look at the territory to see what it is that we want to take. I really don't know that I want necessarily some of this territory. I guess we'll take northern Finland. We could take a lot of territory, actually. We can go for some of these stands. Wow. We could also take some of his ships if we want. Not sure I want to. Yeah, I think we'll just go with that and see what happens. Actually, I'd kind of like to have Kazakhstan. Let's do that. All right, so they've given me four provinces and $47 million in funds. Um, let's 
We take the unrest, 6X large side guns, available 4 inch Mark IIs, standard firing drill. Okay, so what does this mean as far as our territory goes now? I mean, some of this territory is going to be mine now, right? All right, I'm looking at our relations to other countries, and it looks like we are super close to being at war with Spain. So I want to try and bring us back from the brink on that one. I uh, just got out of a war. I don't really want to get involved in another one until we can kind of update our fleet a little bit. Even though the Spanish are already at war with the U.S., let's try and improve relations if I can. Financial situation looks good. Our shipbuilding capacity is still way over. we got to deal with that by not building any new ships until we build the ones we've already got under construction. So Ukraine has defeated the Russian forces. U.S. fails to take control of Haiti. Uh, but Ukraine is now independent. And you can see Odessa down there on the Black Sea is now a Ukrainian port. There's also an uprising happening up here in the uh, Baltic states. And we are where on our ships? Still got more than we can possibly handle in terms of our build process. So we're going to have to wait until a bunch more of these ships get built before we even think about building some newer ones. We're still at 56% on the upgrading of our shipyard size, which was a two-year project. Wow, we really messed Russia up. In addition to taking all that territory and then them losing Ukraine, they've just had a revolution. So I wonder what that will do as they continue to fight Latvia. Let's take a look at the politics screen for a second and see where we're at in relation to others. Um, 20 million is our GDP. Our growth is plus 9.7%. Uh, how does that compare to the big ones? Uh, wow, Britain's... Uh, GDP is huge. We're a little bit... Oh, it's the Soviet Union now, not Russia anymore. Uh, 19 million there. Government is a democracy, but they're the Soviet Union. All right, interesting. Oh, man, now the British are at war with the Spanish. And the poor Spanish, they don't even have any battleships in their fleet. Uh, have we unlocked Battleship 2? That would be fantastic because it's perfect timing. We just finished building a bunch of our battleships. So we are at the place now where we can finally build some new ones. And once those new ones come in, we've got all these new, new ones that are going to be commissioned here soon. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and start decommissioning our 1890 battleships because uh, that technology is by far our oldest. And I don't think we need that many. So uh, let's look at research for a second. We are three months away from mechanical armor forging. So I might wait on that before we build new ones. Nothing else is actually that close. So it would make sense to wait for that. Now the Austro-Hungarians are at war with the Spanish. I had a chance to go to war with them. I chose to spend the money out of my budget to avoid that war. I don't want to get into another war until I can get my new ships out there and uh, get some nice technological advances that get me a little bit ahead. Uh, we can turn off the army for armor forging research now. Let's go ahead and, first of all, I want to look at what our max is as far as the number of ships we can build at one time. I think it's about uh, yeah, 123,000. So when we build these new ships, I don't want to go higher than that. So let's go to new design take a look and see what we can come up with now as far as battleships go now that we're into 1897 we do have the battleship 3 technology uh, which is definitely going to be the way to go with this battleship 2 only goes 14,000 we can't go any bigger than 17,000 yet so we've got front tower 4 available to us rear tower 3 nothing new with the funnels main gun wise we've got 13 inches available but they're going to be super heavy I might actually go 11s if we do dual 11s where does that put us as far as weight goes alright 
induced boilers we have now. Triple expansion steam engine. We don't have oil yet. We do have hydraulic steering. And we can go all the way up to Harvey armor. Which is more expensive. But it's doable. Everything else we're pretty good. I want to raise the crew quarters at least up to standard. We're going to run out pretty fast of... Oh, stereoscopic rangefinder will be nice. What's the difference between the two? Let's remember that first. Gun aiming speed, long range accuracy. So that gives us a nice boost on long range accuracy. I like that. We can upgrade all of our propellant and things like that. I think I'm going to go standard ratio on the shells. Now, uh, we do have very little weight left over, unfortunately, and by the time I add secondaries, we're going to be pretty well in trouble. I'm going to reduce the range again, because range is really not something that is huge for me at the moment, and I'm okay with not having the speed on these battleships. I'd rather get that weight available for other things. Uh, torpedoes, first of all. Oh, we have a poor sector of fire on these guns. Yeah, see, they're just not, not really... A good way to do that on the front so I think we might have to go with smaller guns how about some 8 inch guns on the front that gives us a bunch of weight available Th these ships might actually be good for going after some of his smaller vessels we can only go up to 6 inch on the casemates but we can get a whole mess of those and I think we can probably get some secondaries somewhere on here. Uh, maybe not. Can't even get six. How about five inch? Yeah, we can do fives. Oh, maybe not. How about singles? No, it won't let me do the fives. We can do fours though. And as we've seen, those can do some damage. It won't let me put them there, though. That's all right. Okay. Uh, the rest, then, we can leave for balancing this thing out and adding to the armor. Because we've seen some issues with armor already against some of the Russians. Uh, our pitch is bad, though. we got to try and balance that out. Let me mess around with it a little bit. All right. We got the pitch down a little bit, but it's still pretty high. I just couldn't find a way to... Uh, uh, to, to fix that. I tried a lot of different things uh, trying to deal with the pitch. Nothing really worked. Uh, but we do have a pretty well-armored weapon of war here. And I even was able to remove one of the funnels because we were at like almost 300% engine efficiency. I went down to standard funnel one, with their, which are a little lighter, and I went to two of them instead of three. And we still have over 100% engine efficiency. So these are almost uh, 17,000 tons. So we'll queue up, I don't know, five of them for now, maybe six, and that'll keep us under our tonnage capacity. And I've also stopped taking orders from China, who kept ordering battleships for me, because it was taking up my construction space that I needed to be building my own ships. Okay, so we uh, are in September of 1897 now. I just want to update on how things are going. The British have 113 ships in their fleet, including 24 battleships and 59 heavy cruisers. They're building 86 ships right now. That is insane to me. Uh, as compared to me, who's burning or who's building seven ships right now with 39 in the fleet. But total tonnage, pretty comparable. Uh, 521,000 tons for me. My power rating is 24%. British Empire power rating 46%, but similar tonnage. I'm right there with the U.S. and the Soviet Union as far as power rating goes. But uh, technology is where I really want to be. Now, the British, they show as advanced. Everybody else right now is still average, including me, even though I have poured every dollar I can into technology. The fact is the British just have more dollars to spend uh, so at some point, we're going to have to try and bring the Brits down a peg or two. I just don't think we're at that place yet. We need to kind of gobble up some more of some other 
weaker countries first to put ourselves on a similar footing to the British to be able to take them on. We're just not there yet. Uh, in the meantime, it's good to have allies and it's good to be getting along with other people. Uh, the Spanish, the French are the ones I have to worry about the most right now. Taking on the French would actually be kind of cool. So maybe we'll try to push that maybe once we get into the 1900s. Uh, but I want to try and stay good with the Brits as long as I can. Uh, so let's try to improve relations with them a little bit. Here's a nice expansion to our uh, engine abilities. Multiple expansion. Steam Engine 1. 59% of top speed to achieve cruising speed now. Um, made obsolete torpedo cruisers. We now have new... Uh, advanced hydraulic turrets as well and there's a lot of fighting still going on let's go ahead back to our research now uh, hull protection we're working on torpedo protection one that'll be a nice upgrade when we get our next uh, ability to build which right now let's take a look at our fleet we are three months away from those six ships being built and at that point we'll start stripping down some of the old ones as we get closer and closer to 1900 Okay, new tech, Torpedo Protection 1. That'll be really handy in building our new ships. Also, uh, 1,500 uh, meters torpedo range now available. Uh, so we keep increasing that range a little bit. Uh, Three-bladed contra-rotating propellers. Also, higher speed for our torpedoes. So we can actually go ahead and turn off some of that research. And then in one month, we're going to get 17-inch torpedoes, which we don't currently have. Um, we could get a torpedo launcher Mark II. If we want to speed that up, we could get that in four months. I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, Mark II six-inch guns, though, might be nice. So uh, we just finished building those other ships, which are now uh, in the commissioning process. So we're going to go ahead now and start decommissioning. Uh, go ahead and scrap all of our ships that were from the year 1890 that's our initial battleship fleet that we started with at the beginning so that gets us down to 33 ships but we're, we're making a plus 9 million in monthly balance uh, and we've got 1.2 billion dollars available to us so uh, the only thing that's limiting us right now is how fast we can build ships because of the size of the construction that we have so um we're gonna go ahead and just keep building this we're up to 137 as far as the tonnage that we can build at one time uh, so let's go ahead now uh, we're gonna wait one month until we get that new tech and then we're gonna go in and once again build another new style of battleship we'll queue up seven of those and once those are near completion we'll start ramping up to another war i think we'll be ready at that point for a new war with somebody no we're not going to build anything for korea we're still one month away on the torpedo size so we got to wait one more month for that oh boilers uh, advanced big funnels i'm not too worried about that okay real similar to the last ones but we have a one 10 inch gun up front two 10 inch on the back we just still can't go up to those 13 inch guns without having so much weight that we can't handle it we need a better uh, hull that has a higher max weight before we can start getting some of those other ones um, but we do have 17 inch torpedoes now we have electrical one turrets uh, we also have now the uh, anti-torpedo one uh, available to us the uh, multiple expansion steam engine one uh, all of that is very helpful to us, but a lot of things are still not great. So we'll save that design, and we'll queue up six of those, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. When I come back next episode, uh, we're going to start ramping up for war with another one of our neighbors, maybe the French. If I can go to war with France without going to war with the British as well, I think that might be beneficial to us. So we'll see. But I'll go ahead and queue up six of those, and then we will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, guys.